Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Believer's Voice of Victory. Boy, have we got some good word for you. Mm -mm -mm. You know, the Bible says this is the victory that overcomes the world, yes. even our <laughs> faith. Right. Don't look for somebody else's faith to keep you an overcomer. It's your faith. Pastor George is here, and he is going to share some more good stuff oh, from the yes. Word of God. Hallelujah. Gloria, it's so good to be with you. I just get so excited being on the broadcast with you. You say the greatest things. Well, I get excited We write them down, you. and they're wonderful, the gloriasms. Yes. I want to hear more gloriasms. We have a lot of fun between broadcasts here. Yeah, we do. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we are, we're growing in our faith. We we're developing in our faith and we're taking these two weeks with you talking about no more limits, enlarging your capacity yes. to believe and receive Amen. from God, Amen. to grow bigger where your faith is concerned. My faith is growing. My faith is developing, Glory. And over these last few weeks, um, after listening to some materials that I've been listening to and, and just studying and it, it just, I can... It's like on the inside, there's a growing on the inside that's taking place. And it, it really, it fits the, uh, the scripture here in Isaiah 54, two and three. It says, enlarge the place of your tent and let them stretch forth the curtains of your habitation. Yes. Spare not, stretch lengthen forth. thy cords, strengthen thy stakes, for thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left and your seed shall inherit the Gentiles and make the desolate cities to be inhabited. We are enlarging our capacity yes, to believe amen. and to receive God. And we want, we want what's on us to jump on you. Amen. I mean, it's been busy around here. Hallelujah. Things that, things that are going on that between all the things that we're believing God for and the move of God that's taking place. And we've you know, got- really, George, if you want manifestation mm. above what you have, you're gonna have to stretch. You're gonna have to reach out there and stretch. Is that right or what? If you want, if you want manifestation beyond beyond what you have what you have if you want manifestation beyond what you have you're you going to have to stretch otherwise it's going to stay the same otherwise it's going to stay the same hallelujah i made sure i repeated it so the writers can write oh, it good. down I and want include copy it in the notes gloria that's brilliant thank you very much thank you george so we are we are enlarging our capacity to believe God, to receive from God. And uh, I'll- You I'll, know, uh, let me just throw this yeah, in. Yeah, please. I've probably said this before, but <clears throat> when Ken and I first heard uh, the word from Brother Hagen, mm -hmm. Ken was going to, to ORU as a 30 year old freshman. And we had debts, but we didn't have much money. I mean, we could live from month to month. But <clears throat> it, uh, we began, we began to hear Brother Hagen, mm -hmm. and we were in Tulsa when he had those <clears throat> seminars that were 10 days long, and that started us off. And th then, of course, the first one he had was at, was at a church, and mm -hmm. I think it was a week or so. Mm -hmm. But whenever he had a meeting, we never missed. You we were always would, there. If it was icy, wow. we'd slip, we'd slide, wow. we'd get there. We wouldn't think about missing the word. We were hungry. That's how you did it. And God fed us, and you know, and taught us how to word, how to walk in the word. So if you want manifestation, you have to stretch your receiving. That's right. Stretch. And how do you well, receive? You, you re receive from the written word. You, you really. And from the word in your heart, but your, the written word is what really starts you off. This is a great setup for what we're talking about Good. and what we'll talk about the next three days. We're, we're going to be talking about the power of total immersion. Yes. Totally, and that's what you did. That's, what, that's did. what you and Kenneth did. You completely and totally immersed yourselves in the Word of God. That's right. In those meetings with Brother Hagen, you know, I'm sure they were advertised. I'm sure people knew about it, but not everybody went. I, do, I don't think he ever, in those early days, I don't think they ever had to turn people away. Not it in the was early, not no. a very big place. <laughs> but you made a decision, you and Kenneth made a decision of, of no return. That's right. That you were going to take this word. I believe it was the, I, wasn't it Nani that gave, Venetta that gave you the tape of Brother Hagen? Yes. Um, you can, you real can have. Real to real. Real to real. Oh, real to real. Way back. You can have what you say. I think that was right. And I believe that's the one that just, as I understand it, it put Kenneth under the coffee table. He was so excited about <laughs> he what he some. was hearing. He did, he did. And, and you started, you started this, this journey of total immersion, being totally immersed in the world. we didn't know that, but we were broke, we were desperate. Yeah. And yeah. We, <laughs> we wanted the answer. 
So that was the obvious thing to do, but we didn't know anything sure, about total sure. immersion. We just knew that we need help. And well, there's a the quote word. in here. I want to give this quote to you. Okay. It was actually, Billy was quoting, Billy Brim was quoting David Barton, David Barton, David Barron. Um, and this is point two on your first okay. page. God loves to communicate his absolute limitless goodness to oh, all. Oh, hallelujah, I believe that. The only thing that limits him from his parting, imparting his goodness to any human being is that person's capacity to receive. Yes, that's the truth. I found that to be absolutely true. There it is Some right there. Some people hear the Word, you know, and they think, well, you know, you have to spend time in the Word mm -hmm. for it to get in you your do. heart and come you out do. your mouth with power, yep. get in your ears and yep. your heart. And uh, people think, well, I, I just, I, I, I'll, I go to church, I go to Sunday school. That's not enough. A, a little, you, you a little dab, it. a little dab won't do you. It won't do you. <laughs> Glory to God, Hallelujah. We, we and see we here. We were desperate, so we, we were really good. We were hungry. You were digging in. Yeah. And that's what you have to do, we like you said. We were in debt. We didn't, you know, we didn't have anything yeah. as far as the world yes. goods are concerned. Yes. Had an old car, a rent house, project rent house. And uh, we got, but, but Brother Hagen was having those yep. seminars when we yep. were living there in Tulsa. Oh, Gloria. And so uh. we got the glory of God. We got the word, the faith came. And as I understand everything. the story, those are the only times he really had those, those he didn't have them very quarterly long. seminars. Temp, he had 10 day seminars ten day semin for every quarter. What 10 you, days, night and day. And we'd slip and slide. If the ice was there, we wouldn't, we did not miss whatever we had to do. Do you remember when we had 30 days of glory here yes, on the property? Yes, I do. Gloria came to me one time and said, she said to me, George, what would it be like for us to have church for 30 days? And you said, let's try. <laughs> so we did. It was awesome. 1998, September of 1998. 30, okay. 30 days. We had meetings. We had meetings in the morning and we had meetings in the night. The only time we had off was Saturday morning to do the laundry. And then we were back to it again. And I really believe. <laughs> oh, it's, it was I awesome. believe that those 30 days of glory catapulted us into a place that we needed to be. That was total immersion. Yeah, that's right. That's total what immersion. Mm -hmm. There is, I'll read these couple of statements to you. We have a greater, we have a greater capacity. We have a greater faith capacity that has remained untouched, underutilized and underdeveloped. That's right. That, so spiritually, there are no limits to what we can do, no limits no. to what we can have. So the question here is, and this is what we're launching out in the next few days, how do we break through the limits and enlarge our faith capacity? We do that through the principle of total immersion. That's you right. said it. That's you right. said and it. When, even when you get totally immersed in the Word, mm -hmm. you have to stay totally you immersed You have to in stay the totally word, immersed. Or the faith doesn't stay strong. Yeah. Yeah, well, in the same way that Faith you comes eat, by hearing. you have to eat every day yeah. to stay strong. It's, and that's that's so good. A you good know, application. Brother Hagen has talked about people having, they'll have three three square meals a day, and one measly bite snack, snack a week. <laughs> yeah. In the Word. See, that's not enough. And that just won't produce. We're looking for something that will produce the results Praise in our lives. God. Amen. Total immersion will do it. And you know. When, when I first met Terry at ORU, we, we started dating each other and she introduced me to Kenneth's tapes and I started listening. I think the first thing I listened to was the I Have Returned Song? record album. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. that was the first thing I actually heard of Kenneth. And then she started giving me these tapes. Well, our relationship developed and by the end of the year, we were engaged. I mean, wow. God was moving this thing along. Well, I came to Fort Worth at Christmas time, the Christmas break, and sat down with, with Kenneth, talked to him. I kind of got the court cart before the horse. You're supposed to ask the father-in-law first yeah. before you, but anyway, mm -hmm. we were moving along and uh, he asked me, he said, George, what do you want to be? What is it that you want? I mean, I'm 22 years old. He says, what, what is it? What are you aspiring to? And I said, I want to be a man of God. That was the right answer. And I remember his look, he was like, like this, he said, I'm gonna give you my Bible course. I thought Bible course, I thought maybe he'd a give me a little. quarterly, probably. A, yeah, a little, a little. This is 1976, okay? Uh -huh. So I'm thinking about a little quarterly, you know, a little a leaflet or something at best. So I got back to ORU and, went, and a few days after I got back to school from the Christmas break, they called me from the post office and said, come get your boxes. <laughs> And I just found this out recently. Your brother, Richard Neese, was the one who packed my right? boxes. 
And you had a few He tapes? sent me, he, Kenneth Copeland, sent me every tape album that he had, every message. And I tore into those boxes and I started with the first series, The Image of God in You. Yes. And I listened 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 and I did not put those tapes down. I still, I still have in my collection some of those original ones because I gave many of them away as I got involved in this. Mm -hmm. but, but Gloria, when I, at that, at that point in time, I guess you could really say in, in January of 1976, I started to become totally immersed in the Praise Word of God. God. And that's the, way, that's the way my faith has grown Hallelujah. through these Mark. years. Yeah. And the scripture, the scripture for biblical, the biblical principle of total immersion is found in, in Proverbs chapter four. Mm -hmm. If you look at verse 20 through 22, it Great says, scripture. my son, attend to my words. And that, that you could say, give attention to. Give attention to, exactly. Uh, focus, mm -hmm. focus on the Word of God. That's what you and Kenneth did. That's you were so did. focused on the Word of God. That's right. So, my son, attend to my word. Incline your ear to my sayings. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your Amen. heart. Why? For they are life unto those that find them and health to all of their flesh. Now, how do you keep them in the midst of your heart? By inclining your ear and keeping it in your keeping words. Keeping it, keeping it keep before it you. Keep it in the midst That's of it. your heart. Really, Gloria, when you boil it down, that is the major key to the development of it our is. faith. It absolutely you, is. You can't let faith the comes word by go. Hearing. I heard somebody say one time, you can't take a faith vacation. And hearing by the word. And hearing by the word. Uh, a couple of these notes that I well, wrote here. Well, you get to where you don't want to take a faith vacation. No, you because don't. No. This is the victory no. that overcomes the yeah. world, even our faith. Yeah. And once you have a taste of victory, you sure don't want to go back. Once, <laughs> once you have a taste of victory, you, do you don't want to go back. Go you don't want to step back. That's going to become a gloriousism here. Okay, good. <laughs> um, so what I did was I found, for, first of all, with all of the new faith projects we have going on, I realized that I need to step up my faith. I want to come up to the next level. I, I want to, there, there were some, as I wrote here, there were some chokeholds that needed to be broken. There were some limitations that had to be conquered. So what That's I did... Good. In point three, I began to meditate on what I needed to do to enlarge my capacity to receive all that we're standing for. And Gloria, what the Lord did was took me right back to the basics. You don't meditate on the things you need. You meditate to enlarge your capacity to receive. Is that you right? Don't, yeah, you don't meditate on the things you need. That you, need. you don't meditate on the things you need. Mm -mm. You meditate on what it takes to enlarge your the capacity. The Word of God concerning that. That's right. If you, if you notice I'm repeating it, so I'm doing it for the writers because they're writing these, <laughs> these gems, these gems. That we get good things. Gloria, you, you tell me all the time. You say, you need, to write, you need to write a book about this. You need to write a book about that. We need to put together a book of your gloriousms. That's okay. what we need to do. So the Lord took me back to the very basics of what you have taught me. I'm, I'm telling you guys, I'm just telling you what they taught me. I'm just, I just put it in a, in a two week format, but this is exactly what they taught me. And so the Lord took me back for the last 40 years of what you've taught me. And the Lord- Have you been around that long? I have, <laughs> I have. We're so glad. <laughs> and I'm, and I, I am glad this is my 40th year. Praise in God. June of this year will be 40 years at Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Done an awesome Never, job. You know, some people think to themselves, you've been in one place for all that time. Never a dull moment. <laughs> never. In 40 years, Ooh, there's hallelujah. never been a dull moment here. There's, there's never been a time where we all sat back and went, whew, we're, boy, we're, through. we're done with this for a while. <laughs> no, the Lord told me to implement a total immersion program that would help me break through the limitations. That's what we did. We and didn't know what to that's call what it, you're doing. but that's what we did. It was a total immersion program. You know, Gloria, the very first time we can go to- And enlarge your capacity to receive. Yes. That's how you do that's it. That's how you do that's it. That's good, George. I, like I remember um, before Terry and I started dating, we were, she was on my sister wing at ORU and- Well, isn't that convenient? It was very convenient. And we were, we had been acquainted with each other, but we weren't, we weren't like connected to each other yet. And right before that happened, she invited 
her brother wing to come hear her dad speak. It was at a church called Sheridan yes. Assembly. Mm -hmm. and, and it was Brother Hagen's meeting. I'm sure you were there. Probably 68 or 69. It was, well, year. no, it was, seven, it was, was it? Uh, 70, 75. Oh, much later. It was in the fall of 75. And uh, so uh, that, that night, the place was packed. It was overflowing. They put the ORU we students in the choir loft. Yeah, I, I sat in the that. choir loft right I behind. I remember that. And, and so she said, uh, my dad's preaching. So I went to hear him preach. And they introduced Kenneth Hagen. And I heard the word Kenneth. I thought, well, Matt, maybe that's her father. <laughs> so that wasn't her father. So then they had, introduced. hadn't been around very long. They introduced Kenneth Hagen Jr. I thought, well, that, no, that's not her father. So they finally introduced Kenneth Copeland. And honestly, that night, my life was completely Praise changed. I got, I got filled with the Spirit that night. Praise God. He was preaching about the force of wisdom and how you draw up that wisdom mm -hmm. by praying in tongues. And there was a supernatural connection that was made that night. I was hungry for that Praise word. Praise God. And so we ha I, what I had to do from that point on, what we have everything to do. Everything changes when you do that. Everything. Everything. What we have to do, Gloria, in the process of total immersion, total immersion is the process of renewing our minds. Mm -hmm. In order for your faith to come up to the next level, you're going to have to renew your mind to the Word. Right. You're going to have to re renew your mind to what God sees. In other words, you're going to have to change your mind to agree with what the Word says. Yes. That's it. Yes. You have Amen. to change your mind to that. And, and that scripture, I'll just read it to you. It's not on the, the notes here, but it says um, in Romans 12 to be not conformed to this world, right. be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind so that you can prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect so will of God. So you can walk out the will of God. That exactly. says it right there, That's doesn't it. it? So in the last few minutes of this, Gloria, why don't we, these are broken up into paragraphs. Let me do one, you do one, we'll comment on okay. it. But this came from Brother Copeland's book on the blessing of the Lord that makes rich. He adds no sorrow with it. And it's all about the renewing of your mind and the enlarging of your faith and the principle of total immersion. I'll okay. read the first one. All right. For the word to produce results in your life, you must give it your attention mm -hmm. by spending time studying it and meditating on it. How much attention do I have to give it, Brother Copeland? That depends on the kind of results you want. 10% word will produce 10% results. 50% mm. word will give you 50% results. 100% word will give you 100% so result. That's what happened to you and Kenneth Hallelujah. in Tulsa that's right. when that's you were going right. to Brother Hagen's and you were studying the yeah. Word and Kenneth was with Brother Roberts on the road. You were studying Seeing the miracles. Bible. You were I was at home without you were, any money. You were <laughs> totally immersed in the Word of God. I was. Well, Kenneth says, when I first began learning about faith as a student at ORU, I needed major results fast. So I jumped in at the 100% level. I like that. I like yeah, that. Sounds we need, like him, we, we need to jump in at the 100% level. He said, I used a technique that I'd read that the U.S. government used to train translators yes, during World right. War II called total immersion. He did. He did. At the beginning of the war, there wasn't time for translators to become fluent at a normal rate. To speed up the process, they were surrounded 100% with the language they were learning. Research proved if they didn't hear or speak anything but that language, it literally made new grooves in their brains and they became fluent in six weeks or less. Hallelujah. Isn't that awesome? That's awesome. Praise God. So read that next paragraph, Gloria. While I was thinking about that, the Lord spoke to me. This is still Ken speaking. Mm -hmm. He said, son, if you'll do that, if you'll totally immerse yourself in the Word and give yourself to it for just a period of a week, it will change your entire future. Mm -hmm. Isn't that something? Yep. Yep. It will change the direction of your life. Your life will rise to a new level and will never, never go, go back. back. Nope. He said, I decided to put it to the test. Mm -hmm. I got my Bible, my notebook, and a few tapes on faith I had by Brother Kenneth E. Hagin and set up a study hall for myself in our little garage. I told Gloria, I when, you, that. when you call me for a meal, if I'm not there in five minutes, you and the kids go ahead and eat. Yeah. I was going to feed on the Word. You go ahead, it. Gloria. What, uh, let's see, the, where am I? I was reading about I locked. I, I locked, locked my myself in there for seven days. Woo! The only time I came inside was to eat every once in a while and to go to sleep at night. When I did come in, the only thing Gloria and I talked about was faith 
and the Word. We didn't discuss anything else for the whole wow. time. When I was out there listening to a tape and Kenneth Hagin referred to a scripture, I'd stop the tape. I'd read the whole book that contained the verse. Then I'd turn the tape player back on and started listening again. By the end of that seven day period, exactly what the Lord had said came to pass. The word became a solid foundation in my life. Glory, that's exactly what I did when I started listening to Kenneth at Praise ORU. God. And I still have the notes at home of the, and I did that with the Brother Hagin. Writing stuff. one thing after another, after another, after another. Go ahead, read that, that next in one word. In one week, the word changed my thinking. I mean, it doesn't take long. You don't it know doesn't. it all in a week. It doesn't. But you get enough to change your thinking That's right. in total immersion That's in a right. week. It revolutionized the way I saw things. I didn't know much, Brother Copeland says, but <laughs> what I did know was embedded so deeply. Yep. Uh, that you couldn't beat it out of me with the bat. From the first time, faith became my way of life. I didn't live by faith just now, and then just now, and then when I found myself in a crunch, I did it every day. That's, in other words, it wasn't ongoing, yeah. but when trouble <laughs> came, he got in it. Is that the way you take that? That's it, that's it. And so, Gloria, we are, we are to totally immerse ourselves in the Word of God if, yeah. if you're really serious about That's your faith, right. if you're really serious about living debt free, if you're really serious as we are around here, there are challenges that the Lord has put before us. We've gone from a 10,000 seat facility to a 50,000, believing a for a 50,000 seat facility. And the Lord said to me, your faith, but buddy, your faith needs to come up a little bit. So that's what I've been working on. And that's Praise what, God. that's what we are doing here. That's what you need Amen. to do right there. Glory to God. George and I'll be right back. We hope you enjoyed today's teaching from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. And remember, Jesus is Lord.